What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to give you a little lesson in wirelessly mirroring your iPhone to a radio. We're going to be using my iPhone 6 and the Kenwood DNX573S which has an HDMI input. What we'll be using to create the wireless mirror is this dongle right here called the QMV Fusion. This stick transmits its own Wi-Fi which you connect to your phone which connects to the radio. This technique will also work with any television or monitor or display with an HDMI input. So this isn't just limited to radios. I'm gonna show you both. In order for the Fusion to work, it has to be powered with the USB micro USB. So you'll need access to both an HDMI and USB port. This technique today is only gonna be for iPhones and for radios, displays, and monitors with HDMI inputs. Don't worry, we'll do other setups soon with other videos, but this is just for this. Sorry for the specificity, but this is a surefire way to make this work. Some LG phones have a little trouble mirroring. Some radios have a little trouble mirroring. I tried this technique on a Pioneer radio, the 7201 Next, which is brand new, and it didn't work, but this can would work just fine. The Fusion has a male HDMI output, and normally you just plug that right into the HDMI input of whatever you're using. However, the back of this radio, the HDMI port is inside of a crevice and it won't fit, so I have to use an HDMI extension. So I have a regular HDMI, and then I have a female-to-female -female adapter. What I'm going to do is connect the female-female -female adapter between the HDMI cable and the Fusion dongle. Then plug the HDMI cable extension to the back port of the radio. In order for the adapter to work, it needs to get power from the USB. The USB to micro USB to power this baby up. It's important to note that you have to get the USB power from somewhere other than the radio or the TV or the monitor. For example, I'm using a separate USB charger to get power for the USB for the Fusion dongle. Now the Fusion is connected to the back of the radio and it's powered on. The next step is to go into the HDMI source of the radio. Now we're in the HDMI source and the display comes up of the Fusion. What you want to do next is connect your phone to the Wi-Fi signal that the Fusion is giving out. On the home screen of the Fusion is the password to connect to the Wi-Fi. Password on this one is 5925967. Then we just join the Wi-Fi. On the home screen of the Fusion is a numbered link which verifies your source and your phone. All you have to do is type that numbered URL into your browser. So 192.168.203.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Go to my photo album. Again, Netflix, anything copywritten will not work. Cannot play video. So that's the downside to this Wi-Fi link, no copywritten video, but it's still a cool thing to have. It's great for your radio, so you can do Google Maps, Waze, Apple Maps. It's kind of like having Apple Car playing Android Auto on the cheap, cheap, and that's how you do it. Um, go ahead and check out the QMV Fusion Stick online at qualitymobilevideo.com. I'll leave a link in the bio. Right there, there's a link too. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Again, I tried this on a Pioneer 7201 Next and it did not work, but Kenwood's had no problem with it. We'll do another video soon on mirroring wirelessly with radios without an HDMI port. But if you have an iPhone and a radio with HDMI input, or a display with HDMI input, or a TV with an HDMI input, this will work. So make sure you ground that parking brake. If you need a bypass to get through the parking brake, we have a link for that in our bio as well. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're new, definitely subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave any comments below, and don't forget to turn on those video notifications. Thanks for watching.